Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you are new, please smash that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'm here every evening, Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box. You can book a reading with me or uh, with Dominic. So go ahead and check that out. Hi, everybody in the chat and all my subscribers. How are you guys doing? So this is a Virgo channel if you're new for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And as usual, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take the fifths, leave the rest. All right, Virgo. So let's get into this reading and see what other messages are playing out for you from uh, the time that you're listening to this through February, um, January 18th. Oh, we're out of the Mercury retrograde. Awesome. Um, January 18th through February 18th. So we have one month we're taking a look at. Okay, what messages, what energy does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to be aware of? Okay, beautiful. You have the butterfly. I feel like you just had that too. There's a relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and having growth. Okay, so however that might resonate for you. I know some of you might not even be in a, a romantic relationship. This could be a friendship, family member, if you don't have a significant other, just to clarify that. Or if you um, are dating someone, it will be evolving to the next phase sometime in this month, this um, four weeks, the next four weeks. Okay, but there's definitely, and if there isn't anybody else or a family member, this is just an energy of like you healing, having growth, healing that inner child, parenting your inner child, giving your inner child all the love and respect and care um, while kind of raising yourself, I guess, raising vibrations. Okay, what else does Virgo need to know? What else is going on here? Okay, so Virgo, you've got someone chasing after you. <laughs> someone chasing after, there's someone who's afraid that you're gone or that you, you've left them. Um, you might be getting some strange phone calls. Um, you might have somebody reaching out to you, chasing after you during this time period. Um, now, this does say chaser in a codependent relationship. There could be somebody who is, eh, you know, very dependent, okay? Very dependent. Um, this person is fearful that this is the end or, uh, you know, there's a fear of abandonment and I feel like that's kind of making someone, <coughs> excuse me, chase after you so i guess if you've got a chaser that must mean you're looking like the runner although you might not be running um that's the energy <clears throat> you may not be chasing and now somebody else is chasing so tables have turned possibly for some of you yeah could be all right let's see what else does virgo need to know okay you've got girl talk time with friends girl talk guy talk take it how it resonates time with friends being happily single living in the moment and having fun all right um so the first message i'm getting is there is an energy of somebody here talking to your friends trying to find out some information on you or get some information or see how you're doing um whether that's a romantic partner or a relate like um like another platonic possible relationship there's definitely somebody is asking questions about you. You might get wind of, of this, okay? Um, some of you are just, you know, kind of talking to your girlfriends or your guy friends, putting things into perspective at this time. Okay. Hmm. Seven of Swords. Very interesting. So there's definitely a running energy here. <laughs> Virgo, what the heck? What is going on? So there's a runner. Okay chaser and a runner so um i feel like someone's being very strategic let me get another card here to see what other message there is to clarify that okay <clears throat> hmm. oh my gosh you've got the devil like seriously virgo okay I don't know whose energy this is. This could be you, could be another person, but the energy that's surrounding right now is there's this deceptive energy with the devil, but there's also, <sighs> feels like trying to get away from a toxic connection. Somebody is trying to sneak out the door, run away, get away from a toxic connection. Okay. 
Capricorn energy is there. Okay. Somebody is trying to get away from a toxic connection. Oh, goodness. And now you have the King of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. All right, give me a second, Virgo. I'm getting some weird, weird messages here. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So I feel like <coughs> there is a King of Cups. So that would be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to be. But there's someone in your periphery. You know, they could have water in their chart anywhere um, or be a Capricorn, whichever. Whoever your person is, whoever this person is. There's someone here coming through with this King of Cups energy as being very supportive and loving and very helpful and um, giving. Someone wanting to um, share with you, okay? Now, I don't know if these two messages are related or if this is separate. I'm going to look at them separately, and if it resonates both of you know these two different sets, then take it. But it definitely feels like there's someone here where maybe you and this person had a very like a falling out or like a, a, a very unhealthy connection. Okay, somehow, some way, something was very unhealthy. And I feel like the energy is showing of someone leaving a healthy thing. Um, there might have been someone who was very selfish, not giving, not reciprocal, but it looks like It looks like there's some kind of break away from an obsessive energy. But then there's also this giving back. I can't, I really can, I know it sounds confusing. I really can't connect the two, honestly. I'm not, sh I'm not really sure if these are related. Because this is like running away and then this is like taking and giving, okay? There's a taking and giving. <laughs> there feels like there's a connection with you and another person romantically perhaps that is so strong and powerful um, that someone had to break away from it because it was just too overwhelming or too all-consuming obsession obsessive thoughts and then it's almost as like somebody running from this devil energy the obsessive the grip the hold <clears throat> But at the same time, being reciprocal. And then kind of, it's very weird, Virgo. What is this weird, weird message? It's like dipping, someone dipping their toe in the water and giving, sharing, wanting to be, and then running away because then it gets, somebody doesn't want to be overwhelmed. I don't know if it's a fear. Let me see. What is going on? Why is there this giving and exchange and support and love and someone who's like very um, emotional and then running away? <clears throat> I feel like, okay, Virgo, let me just, let me just spell it out. If there's any thing in a connection with someone where the relationship is that devil energy is there where it's unhealthy someone you or this person i don't know it just bolts when things get to be that way there is a genuine desire to give here and to share but it feels like when either things get too overwhelming or if someone feels like oh things are getting way too obsessive or it's getting too hot <laughs> could be like a, a sexual thing whatever then somebody runs or somebody has run <clears throat> wow virgo uh, this is, uh, with these messages right every day it's always something so yeah this is a very strange strange situation here but i feel it feels like a case of separating then it's like a kiss and make up it's like separating then getting back together um and not talking and then talking again it's it feels like a very on and off kind of thing here so i feel like if you're not in communication with someone right now or you're not talking to somebody i feel like there's going to be some kind of reach out that chaser energy um and then a relationship picks back up now you're out of the mercury retrograde you guys so 
there might be something that like uh, gets going again here. <clears throat> Whether that's a friendship, romantic, whatever it might be, you take it as it resonates, okay? All right, let me see what else is going on here for you, Virgo. What other message does Virgo need to know? Um, and they're just telling me February 6th and 7th. Significant days, February 6th and 7th, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, okay, so this is like two parts here. That's what's going on. I feel like um, when the devil's got a hold of this connection, it's too overwhelming. Somebody gets extremely stressed about that and kind of bolts. They, they, they run, they leave, they feel like it, it could be this person does that because they're afraid that you're going to, I don't know, <laughs> all consume them <laughs> like a praying mantis, like you're just going to bite their head off and, I don't know, or put them in their pocket. Somebody has a real strong fear <clears throat> of bondage, of being chained, of, and that could even, <laughs> you know, how somebody says my ball and chain and my significant other, somebody's got a real fear of this having a connection like that okay it's like anxiety this person's anxiety ridden and then um but then when they're gone and their anxieties sub uh, you know are subdued or they feel kind of like over it and then they they start to heal then they chase again and then they come back in here could even be like breadcrumbing a little bit or they come back in making offers or being generous and trying to reach out into the relationship again all right so virgo <laughs> maybe you know i don't know like I, I mean if i were in your shoes i would probably be like oh screw this <laughs> like what the what's this in and out energy somebody's got issues that they need to deal with you like it's like if somebody has a commitment issue or is like they view a long-term relationship as this devil card um, they've got some work to do um, because they, they just can't come in and, you know, tiptoe around in your life and breadcrumb or just give little bits here and there. Yeah, that's kind of not fair. So let me just get a clarifying card here for this person because I feel like if you were in separation or whatever's going, I feel like you're going to get something from someone. Like I said, you do have the King of Cups. Um, it, it, if it's not a water sign, it can be somebody who, um, if it's not a water sign, it is somebody who comes in with this very nurturing, warm, loving energy. And they kind of just do like a little, I don't know if it's like a heat check or they're, you know, dropping some coins in your slot, um, trying to, or, or reaching out or sending some messages or something. Yeah, to bring you guys back into balance. I feel like this person feels like you are their, you know, their soulmate for sure. There's a connection. But they get like scared or they, they like as soon as it gets too hot and heavy or they get too close or they feel you guys are getting too close or but this person like I mean they're scared of it because this honestly feels like this is what this energy is with this person. Devil card isn't always toxic you guys sometimes it's just like we are bound together for life <laughs> you know um, which can be toxic but it's like drawn to each other it's like can't stay away. It, you know what I mean? Like that devil energy. I mean, come on. I mean, this is definitely a physical thing as well. Um, greed can be greed, like greedy for each other. Um, a lot of jealousy, possibly. Yeah, but then this person wants to, they're coming back in here to bring you guys, try to try to restore balance and harmony in the relationship between you. I mean... And then, so it's either they're going to do that and then run away again, or they've run, they're, they're run, they've already been run away. Now they're coming back in again. I mean, Sagittarius energy there for some of you. Okay. Uh, I don't know, Virgo. I, I just, oh, okay. So yeah, nine of cups, your wish come true for this person. I mean, that's so cliche to say, but you're also someone that they view as kind of like a trophy to get. And I got to keep it real here. I mean, if you suspect that this person is going around collecting trophies, so to speak, and putting notches in their belt. But it's funny because you could have, 
you could have a worry about that. You might feel like th- this person is just trying to like, I don't know, like have a harem or something or just keep every time they, they get you, they look at the pride. See the arms crossed there and the smug look on that guy's face? It's almost like <laughs> you're mine. You're everything. <laughs> you're like... Your mind. But see, look, it's only the nine. It's not the ten. I feel like this person. It's it's almost like, okay, they're giving me like completion of a goal. Um, a co- feeling accomplished. Like if they could get your love, if they could, if they could just be with you would be such a great accomplishment. But they self-sabotage. Or they run away from the connection as soon as the opportunity arises. I mean, this person definitely has put you on a pedestal many, 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 many times. You know? I mean, they just want to collect you and put 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 you in their showcase, so to speak. I mean, you are, you're like a show horse, Virgo. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Um, okay. Let me see. I feel like this person is just way up in their head. You know, with those swords running away from this connection or, you know, oh my gosh, or running, if it gets toxic or if it has moments like that or if it's too overwhelming and the physical attraction is so crazy, this person's going to lose control. Um, they run away from it. And then you've got all these cups, all these cups. And look at those two cups right there. Like this person wants to mix up the juices. You know what I'm saying? They want to mix your juices together. <laughs> Maybe they're a bartender. It could be a... Um, a doctor, they work in the medical field, could be a teacher, professor, you know, someone who's like um, really attached to the esoteric. All right, what else do you need to know, Virgo? Yeah, so this person is definitely going to be chasing after you in that mo- in the month, January through February. I mean, But what is, like, is this person going to keep running away? What is their deal? Are they coming back? Are they going to stick? Because it looks like they're trying to bring healing, peace, and harmony. And, you know, if there's codependency here, have they healed that? There's hormonal issues, possibly, I'm seeing. Um, or a drinking problem. All those damn cups. Yeah. Mixed drinks, I'm hearing. Mixed drinks. I'm not getting any cards. Is there anything else for Spirit, I mean for Virgo to know? All right, the magician. Oh, ho, he's a magic man. That's your magic man, your magic woman, or you're a magic man. Um, okay. This person's going to come in and perform some tricks for you. Try to get your attention, Virgo. They're going to perform some magic tricks. Maybe they're going to do cartwheels or, you know, lift some weights. Or uh, show off somehow. They're very focused on you, Virgo. Oh my goodness. They want to turn something here into like... Like they have visions of you. I feel like this person... Yeah, they're so mixed up. They're so confused. They're in and they're out. You're up and you're... In. That's that song, Katy Perry. You're in and you're out. You're up. And you're down, you're black, and you're white. And do, 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 do. That's what I feel like uh, the king or queen of mixed messages here. It's just totally a runner chaser kind of thing. Um, yeah, so what are they going to do? Yeah, they're going to, like, I mean, the fool's not here, and that just makes me feel like this person's like a complete fool for you. They might not reveal it because the card isn't showing here, but. The card before the magician is the fool. And the magician is a card about taking action. Gemini energy <clears throat> could be another Virgo. This is about taking action, manifestation, manifesting. Um, all right. 
all this major arcana, it's really crazy. Um, your person could be an Aries, I just heard. This person could be an Aries. I mean, I feel like they want to impress you. They Or they want you to be impressed with them. The way they are with you. It's like, they want you to like be putting them on a pedestal the way they have you on a pedestal, which they don't really show, but they're afraid of, yeah, I just keep getting the same thing. Like they're afraid of being all consumed by the connection. So they dip, they run out, they sneak away. The anxiety that it causes this person to have this kind of connection. <clears throat> I don't know. It's not easy. This is there's there's depth. Meanwhile, Virgo, what are you doing? You're just like healing the inner child. You know, you're like a butterfly. I'm like a bird on the fly away. I keep getting all these songs. This is crazy. All right, let me see what else is going on here. Sorry for all the shuffling, but I really, really want spirit to just give me the cards. What else does Virgo need to know? Definitely going to be some communication with that Gemini energy because Gemini is all about the communication. Mercury ruled, and so is Virgo. So I do feel like um, <clears throat> they're telling me this person is, um, they've, they're coming with props, Virgo. <laughs> they're coming with props. They have props. They, they want to show you what they can do. Okay. Yep, oh, I swear. There you go, showing off. Six of Wands. This is like someone that has people, look at that, like riding on the horse. It's not ego, so to speak, speak but this is a card of like victory. They want to be, they want you to recognize them, like recognition <laughs> for something that, for their props, <laughs> props to you, man, for something that they're doing or, or that they are performing. They want you to put them on this crazy ass pedestal and like, I don't know, just kind of be like <clears throat> all over them. Um, I want to take a look at you. I need to see like, Virgo, what is your energy towards this person right now? And going forward, Virgo, what is Virgo's energy towards this, this runner chaser? I mean, obviously with the butterfly... Oh, they just gave me, they just said somebody's peacocking. They're going to peacock for you, strut their stuff. <laughs> With the butterfly, this is like, you know, evolving. All right, Virgo, of course, of course, that's your, that's like your energy towards this person is you're like, I am single as a Pringle and just doing really great. I mean, if anything, I mean, this person, you're, whoever they are is like super crazy attracted to you. I mean, the nine of pentacles is the Virgo card, no doubt. And and this is an energy of someone who is looking good, standing in their independence. I don't need no man. I don't need no woman. You know, self-supporting, someone who has like their fine threads, their nice car, you know, whatever it is, you know, um, dressed well, money in the bank, the whole like very independent and solo and attractive, okay? So your energy basically towards this person right now through the month is you're fine. You're doing okay. You will be, but you're doing okay for yourself and you are evolving, okay? And that's a card of being single. You're completely single and you're okay with it. Like it's just where you either feel you need to be or it's, you know, where you want to be, whatever you're doing with yourself at this time. It, it, I don't know if it's that you don't care. Uh, you just seem kind of settled. You've got the nine as well. Like while this person has the nine and they've got you on a pedestal, you've got the nine and you've got yourself on a pedestal, Virgo. <laughs> okay. What else is Virgo's energy towards this relationship, towards this person? 
Virgo's energy towards this person. Oh, a whole bunch of cards. Um, your energy towards this person is you see what they can be, Virgo. Like you see that this person can come in in that emperor energy, right? You have the visions. You see reality, right? These are like your visions. Like the reality of, the, of it is that you see that this person has potential to come in with this this emperor energy, which is, you know, someone who's above board, very responsible, um, you know, masculine, feminine energy, whatever it is, but someone who's like, the, you know, the, the emperor is like full, like it's respect, they command respect, they are respectful, they're someone, in a, they take the lead, you know, very Aries energy there, very strategic, someone who's a good planner, maybe even a father figure, it could be a father, like it's like you see what the potential is for this person to be, but you also see like why it's a potential is because they you view this person as being like a self-sabotager, someone who puts um, restrictions on themselves and on the relationship, right? You see that they maybe even play the victim or the, the damsel in distress at times. You know that they like you, you see the potential that they could be independent, and take care of business. And, you know, um, if they would only, I don't know, get out of this energy here, this person is actually not trapped. You see that their feet, you know, they're not bound here at the feet. It's just right here, you know, and they're not completely jailed. Like there's no swords in front of them. You know, but this person, you, you wonder, are they disconnected from their emotions? Because there's very little water here, you know, and very gray. Maybe they, they just have kind of a negative Nancy, um, depressing David energy. I don't know what the heck is going on. But like you see the potential, but you are just like, okay, but I see it. And I know what they can be, and I know what we could be, and I know how things could be, but it's like you're you're not trying to counsel anybody. You're not trying to, you know, if somebody's got some issues, they got it, you're letting them deal with it. Okay, while you, you know, focus that on yourself and the things you need to do for yourself. So your energy, you know, towards this person is basically nil. You know, I'm, I don't know if you've just accepted something about them and you just are, have, are or will be and just making plans for yourself and doing whatever. And it's kind of like, OK, well, you know, if they are able to, you know, get themselves in a position where they don't feel trapped or they don't feel scared or they don't feel like they have to run away, um, then that would be great. But until that happens. Yeah. It, you're just like whatever it is what it is like you're not i don't see you trying to like fix anybody that's for sure you know i mean the page of pentacles is a card about good news so you do see the good in this person um but this it's almost like i don't know virgo you might kind of feel bad for them that they they do this to themselves Th that can be a card of insecurity or some mental issues going on for sure <clears throat> i just heard um some virgos wish that they would go talk to their get a mentor mentor someone who's um can direct them or speak to a father figure or become a better father i'm hearing pay attention to the kids oh <sighs> virgo you have the lovers I mean, I, I feel like you, Virgo, we all know you have such a good heart. Okay, Gemini, um, while Mercury ruled energy. I mean, Virgo, I feel like you do love this person. I don't know, you see him as your twin flame. <clears throat> I feel like you do, like you do. There is something here with this person. And you, you definitely would like to have that long-term connection. But this is a card of transparency, healing, and a decision. Like you're not, like they have to make the decision to not run away because you view the relationship as you know um beautiful like the good aspects you view it as like amazing and beautiful and like you two were made for each other that kind of thing and it's not scary you view it that you two can be together and be interdependent in the relationship you know like be together but not be like chained to each other but this person's like so fearful of that that's how they view it look at the similarity 
in these two cards. And you're over here like, you know, no, we can be together, but we don't have to own each other. What? That's fucking weird. And this person's like, oh, I can't be with you because then we're going to wind up owning each other and be chained for life. Like, uh, they have a fear. They have a great big fear of being all consumed. So, you know, how you view the relationship, what action you're going to take. I mean, I f it feels to me like your action is you're making a decision to always keep them in, in your heart, but to separate. Like you're not holding hands here. You can't like they're th even though they're together, they're not holding like they're not they're not holding hands. They're not together. Right. So I feel like your action towards this is like, you know, yeah, I love this person. It sucks that th this stuff kept happening or it didn't work out or this person like or it, you know, we got together and then it just this person dipped or they ran away. And I feel like you're like, you know, I always keep a good place in my heart for them. And, uh, you know, I always send prayers, well wishes, blessings to this person. Um, but I can't, like, I'm choosing to not come together with them, like, at this time, because during this month. So some of you might still kind of be connected, but not really. You might be connected more in the, th in the um, spiritually than in, you know, physically. Okay. Yeah, so Virgo, it's like, you know, okay, well, it is what it is. If it's meant for me, it'll be for me, yada, yada. So you're just kind of like, I think you're socializing or will be or spending time with friends, surrounding yourself with supportive uh, people, you know, like a support group or supportive people around you at this time, right? Friendship, circle of support. Some of you might be... Uh, meeting other people, maybe you're choosing to dip your toe in the dating pool, or you're just online talking to people, you know, there's definitely an energy of communication. But you also view that this person, I don't know if it's true or not, but I feel like you do either view that this person every time they run away is because there's somebody else or that they're spreading themselves thin with others. And so there's, there's a question okay it's a question <clears throat> i don't see it here in this reading but i have to make a clear uh, a, a disclaimer here that if you know for a fact that the person that the, whoever they are like you know you have evidence that they are messing around with other people um okay well then you know regardless of why it doesn't really matter because if that's not going to work for you then it's not going to work for you so you might suspect or you might hear from friends or, or heard from friends that they, maybe they talk to other people but you got to be careful with you know <laughs> listen do you have to be careful with friends if if they say something like that without actually having evidence because your friends might be interested in this person and they could be trying to do some shady you know what i mean so you got to be careful get that ev i mean if you got to get the evidence yourself get it yourself somehow so you have the proof on your own okay but i feel like some of you also view the relationship with this person is that they're just party girl party boy you know and that they just want to be with their friends all the time, or they just want to have fun or go out drinking and hit the clubs or the bars or, you know, whatever, just, just socialize and date other people. Okay. Wow, Virgo. <clears throat> I kind of feel like though, that this person, they are going to come in and try to manifest a response from you <laughs> so that you will see them as a victor. This person just has... Well, I mean, they just, I don't know if this person has a problem with lying or deception. They get that devil's claws in them somehow as well, you know, um, and it comes like they have extreme fear and anxiety. That might just be like they have an anxious attachment. They run away when you get too close, which makes them avoidant. And then when you give them space, they come back in and they want to be recognized. This is just these psychological readings. Get the heck out of here with this, you know? Like, it's crazy. It's just crazy. Um, I will say, because also this person's got girl talk, I feel like they have a lot of female friends that they just talk to, and also, but they do, they are showing up as single right now, um, and having fun with their female friends, but I don't know, like, if there's... 
I'm not so sure. I'm not getting a clear message that there's like messing around with other people. Okay. I just, I'm not getting a clear message of that. All right. Let me see if I can figure out a little bit more who this person might be. Let's see if I can get some other features. Try and give you. Okay. All right. We've got someone that has freckles. We're here with the man bun yet again. Okay, so they're giving you a lot. Someone that has wavy black hair, wavy black hair. Also got someone that has piercings. Someone with hazel eyes. Okay, we've got someone who has short hair. There's also someone who has long hair. There's one person who is slender, sorry and also plus size. So there might be someone who's average, average built. Okay. Now, if that resonates for you, fantastic. Um, I just want to see, I was going to see if I had, yeah, there's the average weight. So then it might, could be that somebody was um, plus size and then they lost a lot of weight or they were very slender and they gained weight. Um, and then you've got average weight as well, okay? That's what I was trying to pick up on there. Um, short, tall, eh, I'm not so sure. Okay. Let's see what other messages there are here for you, Virgo. So I just kind of feel like you are, you know, you're, you're just, I don't know, you're doing you. You don't seem to be preoccupied right now. It's just like whatever will be, will be. All right, let's get the Chinese signs. You or the person or both of you or none. All right, year of the rat, year of the monkey, year of the ox. <clears throat> okay, rat again. Could be two rats. If you don't know your Chinese sign, you can just Google it. Year of the pig, year of the dog, just a couple more. Year of the ox again, I'm gonna take that again. Year of the rooster, hello rooster. One more card, one more Chinese sign for Virgo. Who is this Chinese sign for Virgo? All right, we got a pig again. All right, they're definitely letting you know that we have a rat, ox, and pig, definitely. Somebody's name might be Rob or Robert. Okay, so we have a goat and a snake. Okay, very interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, let me get some love messages here for you, Virgo. What romance angels messages of love does Virgo need to know? Okay, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. I kind of feel like you guys are doing that. That was really the message that I was getting. Like you guys are like, you know, it is what it is. If it's meant for me, it will be, and yada, yada, right? Letting it go, whatever will be, will be. If it, you know, this person comes back and they're bloody stumping it, great. If they're not, then it is what it is, okay? So you're not trying to control the outcome of a relationship here. You're not trying to do anything. You're, I feel like some of you are just, you, you got broke, busted, and disgusted, and you just kind of reeled it in and said, let me take care of my stuff here. And focus on myself and you know you left the package at the door if they don't open it that's on them okay you left the whole full package okay religious factors interesting your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path for me 
This always means that there is some type of difference between you and this person. And I like to say it could be spiritual, it could be religious beliefs are different. It could also be ge geographical differences, racial differences, economic differences, um, educational differences, like two people like uh, from different sides of the track even, you know? Um, so it feels like that may be playing a role in the relationship in some way, somehow. Um, for some of you, not all of you, could be um, financial as well when I say economic. So financial differences, you know, you might be poor and they might be rich or you might be rich and they are poor, you know, or maybe they don't have enough money as you do or vice versa, you know, um, to some that matters. Well, mostly to the guys, to the, to the, to the, well, to the masculines, I'd say, but the feminines, not so much, not too, too much. Let me see what else. Oh, goodness. Whole bunch of cards. Pay attention to red flags. Signs are cautioning you. I feel like you're already doing that. There is chemistry here with this person. Very strong magnetic attraction. That was that devil energy, but this is your true love. soulmate yeah virgo i mean but it, it it doesn't matter does it like i said you're going to keep this person close to your heart and hope that maybe something different will happen but if it doesn't like you're not sitting by the phone for the rest of your life you know you will entertain um anyone else that comes in to offer or is interested shows interest okay let me see what other messages can get here oh okay three cards Okay, um, hmm. All right, somebody um, has a gambling problem <laughs> or they play poker or they hit the slots or go to the casinos or they um, mess around with a deck of cards. Um, there's some kind of game playing definitely there's 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 there, there's something questionable about somebody in your life you know i mean they could be like addicted to buying lottery tickets they could be um someone who who you know just invests their money but unwisely at times or most times they lose a lot of money or they're they could be somebody who wins a lot of money also they could also be someone who um is connected to you know um card games poker or uh you know like i don't know card games that you use chips or you play for money stuff like that okay i'm just getting that message not picking up a name they were giving me a description it could be somebody's name starts with an s also, you could be connecting with someone's name who starts with an S. Somebody might have difficulty, financial difficulty, because or they don't have any money to spend because they spend all their money on investing or playing games, um, you know, gambling. Uh, gambling. I know, I know, um, <laughs> so funny. I know that um, stocks can be a gamble, but I, I, it, like, there's patterns and graphics and analytics to stocks, right? You really can't, I guess you really can't tell with like poker or playing games, but it, they're kind of in the same realm a little bit. You know what I mean? With this, the way this person approaches it, because the devil card was there. So that could be someone who's like a, an addict to some degree. They, they, they Just in general, they like, they like to gamble. They like to take risks. Okay. Um, I feel like I just went on a long, long tangent about that. I don't feel like I needed to do all that. <clears throat> okay. Um, oh, wow. I just heard a knock, knock at a door. Knock, knock. A knock, knock sound. I just heard that. You might, um, maybe you just heard, well, not when I just did it, but maybe you, somebody knocked at your door or this person will be knocking at your door. You're going to knock at the door to try to talk to you. Um, also, um, well, maybe you just heard a knock at your door. You will after you're done listening to this reading. Okay. <laughs> oh, key charging your chi, your chi. Somebody, somebody does something with their chi. I just heard. 
Okay, somebody does something with their chi. And also, oh, somebody has a bearded dragon. Um, I just heard the name Mel or Melissa. Also, um, Ian. 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 Okay, let me see. Yeah, definitely that knock. Man, that's like reverberating in my brain. Okay, somebody has on like a blue turquoise colored shirt right now. These cards are so big and bulky, they're hard to shuffle. I wanted to come out, but it didn't. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Joseph, they're giving me Joseph or Joanne or Josephine or Jolene or it's a J-O or someone's an actual J-O. <laughs> the star somebody's in a um, entertainment industry or is a star who's a who's a jo who's a jerk off <laughs> it's awful don't say that um or somebody's like gonna like close out the video and go watch some porn hub <laughs> Maybe somebody does that, watches it, or they work in that. In, they might work in the porn industry. Oh, my sponsors are just going to cancel me out. The P-O-R, the prawn industry. Somebody works in the prawn industry, perhaps. Or, okay. We're, I'm not going there anymore with that. Let me see. A couple more, and then I'll do your charms. A couple more, and then do your charms. What else? Okay, two more, just like I said. Oh, there's the lovers and ego <laughs> figures. Yeah, somebody's, there's Gemini energy and Capricorn. Um, that's the lovers and the devil. I cannot even believe that the reading is ending off with the lovers and the devil. Oh my gosh, these two are in alignment yet not at all. It's crazy. This is a crazy reading today. <laughs> There's, it's an energy of holding hands and then breaking free, touching, holding each other, and then breaking free. So Virgo, um, all right, I'm going to give you a couple of names here because they're just giving me names. Either Mimi or Michael or Michelle I'm picking up or Mia. Mina, Millie, <clears throat> it's an M-I, okay? And then um, I'm also getting um, the initial R and the initial P, okay? All right, let me just get some charms here for you. All right, giving you two. All right, you've got a pink flower, oh, Somebody's thinking about your pink flower, <laughs> Virgo. You know who I'm talking to, right? Your pink bud, your little pink flower, your flower petals. Somebody's thinking about your flower petals. That is so, we are so crass and crude on this channel. So if you don't like it, click the F off because every once in a while, hey, this is life. Sometimes this stuff happens. So yeah, this energy is definitely... <laughs> I can't. I'm a 10-year-old. I say it all the time. If you don't like it, too bad. That's what I am. It's interesting because you have one, two, three, four, five petals on this. And you have six points. Five points, six points. So that might resonate for some of you. The name five points or six points. You also have a ship's wheel. Okay. Um, somebody's a captain. Maybe they, they pilot a craft. Okay. Arg, maybe someone's a pirate. Maybe someone's name is Johnny. <laughs> There's definitely like um, the wheel is turning. Listen, wheels, wheels are not, the wheels are built to turn. If a wheel is just stagnant, not moving, 
it's 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 it has no life there's nothing going on with a wheel it's a very depressing sight to see wheels are meant to move they're not there for any other reason um is this wheel turning yes things are spinning i feel like somebody is dizzy over you i have to say that because uh, yeah every time i do this i get like a little vertigo somebody is like dizzy about you i don't even know what that means just dizzy oh i also see somebody wearing a purple shirt <clears throat> you know i'm picking up here this is so weird you and this you and this person tend to wear the same colors <clears throat> you're very similar that way you wear the same colors and i'm also hearing the name ruby which is weird because i was just looking at this emerald and they just said ruby i also feel like someone um is a physician or is a doctor or a physician or is dr love <laughs> doctor of love okay oh and that's so weird okay they just told me they're giving me a vision of an apple tree it's either an apple tree hold on okay yeah all right okay they're saying apple tree but then i'm also picking up mistletoe and they're not even the same but they're saying apple tree it, i don't think it's one yeah apple tree and then i just heard mistletoe so whatever that means apple tree and mistletoe and i'm also picking up um hmm oh uh they just said bollywood bollywood someone's in bollywood or belly dance belly dancer bollywood belly dancer uh what the heck i don't know i'm gonna leave the reading there you guys because that was just intense so hope you enjoyed that hope you liked it hope it gave you some clarity if not hope it was just a lot of fun entertainment for you and it, you guys if you again please do go over to my booking site you can book a reading please book with dominic i do feel like you will really get a well-rounded personal reading from him um if you reach out to him all the prices are exactly the same he comes highly recommended he is on my booking site so just go on over there and book with him he has all open slots so you can book with him in the mornings your mornings your afternoons your evenings from 6 a.m to 9 p.m he is open and available to take um you, to take you guys on because um, my hours are getting smaller nowadays but also you can view him over at copeless tarot here on youtube he's been a reader for a while but he um his youtube channel is fairly new okay so yeah i'm gonna leave that there for you guys i love you all so much my lovely lovely awesome virgos and i will see you guys back here tomorrow for your weekend reading all right have a good one bye